$10,000 every month in rent, why I spend that and why you should spend that too. I'm going to answer this question with another question, okay? What is the cost of not spending that money? Because most people on earth are so obsessed with the financial cost of something, whether it's spending an extra $5 to take an Uber or spending a little bit of extra money to get that organic food in the grocery store. We're all so fixated on that single number. But the question is that no one thinks about what is the cost of not buying this thing? When it comes to that Uber, well, the cost is time. And you know what? Time is the most valuable resource on earth. You know, you're here, this video is 44 seconds long. We are 44 seconds closer to death. We don't know when death is. It could be today, I could get hit by a car, dead. Could be tomorrow, a week, a month, a year, 30 years from now. I don't know when, but I do know that death is coming for all of us. So to me, it definitely is worth spending a little bit of extra money to save on time, which is the most important resource on earth. Now let's look at that organic food in the grocery store. Well, if we don't buy healthy food and we do buy that McDonald's food, you know, in the moment, there might not be a health cost. But if we keep doing that, we are going to get sick when we're older. Our organs will not work that well. Our joints will not work that well, and we will die an earlier death. But no one thinks like this because no one thinks in a long-term time horizon. They're only concerned with what bar they're going to go to on the weekend. And this is coming from someone who used to think just like that. I literally, that, that would be it. Like two weeks in advance, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Seriously. So like, I'm saying this from experience though, right? Now, when it comes to $10,000 a month in rent, here's why I do it. Because right now I am in Vienna, beautiful place, beautiful city, okay? In order for me to sleep well though, I can't hear people walking above me. Therefore, I need to live in a penthouse because the buildings here are kind of wooden, okay? They're a little bit old, all right? That's one. The second reason is you can see there's AC right there and there's also AC in the bedroom. If I don't have good AC, I can't sleep well. And what's going to happen if I don't sleep well? Well, I'm gonna make a lot less money from my coaching business, right? Because if I'm tired and if I'm on a sales call with someone, I'm gonna say something stupid, I'm gonna forget about something, I'll be irritated. Not good things if you wanna get someone as a client. And if I lose a client, that's a lot of money, okay? Another thing is too, what about just my overall well-being, feeling good in a new city? Because going to a new city and living in a new city, that's a great experience, but it's not a very fun experience when you're like a zombie who can barely even function. And again, I've been the zombie who could barely function. I remember being in Amsterdam uh, in college, right? I was, on, I was going on my little exchange in Lisbon, Portugal, and I was staying in a 16-person hostel room, right? And I was in there, people were hooking up, there was all sorts of people were coming in, coming out, they were packing, right? It was, it was terrible. And I literally didn't sleep. And I remember being in the Heineken factory in Amsterdam and I legit wanted to nap. All of my friends, we all wanted to nap. And then after Amsterdam, we went to London where I got sick. And I was sick in bed for three whole days. So the question is, was it worth it saving money by going into the 16 person hostel room or maybe, just maybe, right? I should have stayed in the single room where I would have loved Amsterdam, not gotten sick, enjoyed London more. Maybe because I wasn't sick, I would have met an amazing romantic partner in London. Maybe I would have met a business connection. Maybe I could just sit in Amsterdam or London, look at some beautiful view and just really appreciate the moment. But because I chose to save a little bit of money, I didn't get to have those experiences because most people don't think like that. We're so fixated on the financial cost and we don't think about the cost to everything else, right? So for those of you who don't know, I run a coaching business where I teach people how to start and grow a coaching business or an agency to 10 to $30,000 a month in cash profit, right? 
And when I talk to people who are thinking of joining the program, of course, the financial price, they like, they would rather it be free or like a couple hundred dollars or something like that, right? And some of them just don't invest, but they're not thinking of the long-term consequences of not investing, which is staying in the job that you probably hate, which is not making the amount of money that you wanna make from your business, right? Which is impacting your life in many ways. It's probably preventing you from traveling, from living in the place you wanna live in. If a family member gets sick, knock on wood, I hope this doesn't happen to you, you don't have the money to take care of them. If a friend gets sick, knock on wood, you don't have the money to take care of them. You probably don't even have a lot of money to, to take care of yourself if something really bad happens because most people are just like they're being ignorant. They're not looking at the long-term consequences of not having a business that actually makes them money. And as of filming this video, we're about to enter a recession, right? Thankfully, I have money that I can invest. Because of that, everything's on sale for me in the recession. I will make millions of dollars in the next few years, or at least 10 years, from the investments that I make during this recession, okay? If you don't have the cash flow, you're not going to be able to do that. But here's the thing, when the government started printing off money like you know crazy people, I knew a recession was coming. So when I saw that, I'm like, oh, I better make sure I have enough money. But again, most people don't think in long-term time horizons. They're just thinking about which bar or whatever they're going to go to on the weekend. Or if you, you know, if you don't like going to bars, you're thinking of something pretty short term. Which movie are we going to watch on Friday? What are we going to have for dinner on Sunday? And these are all things that I love. I love thinking about these things, but you, it can't end there. And this is coming from someone who used to be the biggest short term time horizon thinker on earth, all right? So in conclusion here, the reason why I spend $10,000 a month in rent is because the cost of not doing that is massive money, time, experience. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer for anyone if you actually think of the long-term consequences. Although, if you are someone who can sleep with noise above them without being in a cold room, then hey, you don't have to be here. I totally get that right? But if you're like me, you have to be in a place like this, all right? Seven minute video, a little bit long, but I hope you got something out of this. If you like the video, comment, leave it a like, do all the wonderful things that you guys do, all right? I love you. Peace.